Welcome. Um, just really quick here before we start, one of the things I want to share with everybody is I want you to know that I thank you for sharing this journey with me and this journey is really about love and it's about those folks that have made their transition that still love you and you still love them even though they're no longer in their bodies. Um, so that's the most important thing to know and you will learn that love is limitless in relationship to that. Okay, now I tend to speak very fast and I also tend to get information very, very fast. If you think it's for you, it's better to say something as not say something and I tend to hear names and don't just listen to people that have passed over's name because remember they're connected to the living people so I may hear one of the both and I could be over here and then I hear something over there and we're back and forth so you'll you'll it's really important if you think it's with you to say something because if it's not trust me when I'm telling you it won't come through okay you got it all right uh, I got to tell you I'm, I'm double crossed over here but there seems to be a, a younger male presence that's coming through on my on my side over here who's the leg person with you please uh, my lay partner okay could he not walk uh, not very well. Okay, because he's standing next to you, by the way, also. And you see, when I thought her brother came through, that was your father, that was him. I will often see peers on the same level. Now, this man was sick. Yeah. Yes. He said you took care of him very well. Yes. And he thanks you for that. <laughs> All right. Now, I want to know who's the J name that's connected to him. There's a James, that's John. Jim. It is him. Jim. Yeah. Yes. No, James. James. <laughs> yeah. He stands corrected, James. Okay. And it's interesting because I also get a dignified guy, but there was a part about him that he would have been respectful to bring these people in first. Oh, yes. I mean, absolutely. He says, no, gentleman. it was important to have their fathers come in before I did. Yeah, no, he's And he said gentleman. you would understand that with his personality. Yeah. Okay. Now, are you not in the same house? What's the deal with that? No, I'm in the same place. You are. Okay. Because did you go through a thing about thinking about moving? Yes. Okay. You see, because he's saying do what you need to do because you're in the difficult spot, all right? And you must have taken very good care of him because he feels very honored. <laughs> okay. Now, I don't know if this is at your house, near your house, or somewhere else, but there's something that you created for him. Um, yeah, either a collage or a Would it be something, box? I see a square because it looks like it's square. It's a collage of photographs. Thank you. Yeah. And he said it was very much honored of our life. Yes. Because it's got like names, engravings, and all of that in it. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. It was the one thing that his family requested. Okay. Uh, copies of. That's nice. That's nice. Now, you should still be connected to his family. Um, we're out of touch. Out of touch. Yeah. It's okay. I think they couldn't do it. Yes. Uh, he also knew he was going to pass, by the way, when he got sick. Yeah. Uh, there's something connected to him in the month of April. April. It's not with you guys, is it? Not the leftover stuff. Well, my father's birthday is April. Oh, I, I think that would qualify, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. That's April. <laughs> yes? Okay. They identify by birth, passing, yeah. things of that sort. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and definitely your father was this all-around guy. He's bringing the, the, the party in here very much together. Oh. Uh, I'm going to ask you also this. Was, you've had contact with him since he's passed? He's, yeah, he sort of visited me in yes. my sleep. You should feel him around a lot because yeah, he's being very strong about it. I do. Now, I'm going to say this again because I know I'm hearing it. Was, did he, was he a smoker? <laughs> I'm smelling heavy tobacco. That could be his brother. Is his brother passed? Yes. Then that's who's coming through. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I, I mean, it was just like right between the two of them, and I'm smelling smoke, so, and I would hear that as brothers and uncles, so your brother, your uncle asked me to apologize. Um, but now, did his brother pass before him then? Yes. Yes. There was a connection there. Well, it was HIV related. Why am I hearing somebody who has a lake house? Okay, was that his family? Okay, this lake house is a big deal. Yeah. I mean, this was like we spent all our nostalgic time here together. It was the, yeah, place for the town to gather. Yeah, yeah. Very, very strong. And it must be nice to hear from your um, partner as well, huh? Oh, um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you sound like you did a really nice job with, <laughs> with his transition. Oh, thank you. Suzanne, is there, um, uh, you know, you talk a lot about this in your books and your seminars. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you would like to tell us or, or that you need to tell us today? There's always a few things that I always like to sort of like share with people. Um, and and, and, and it's, it's important to you to know that, you know, I, I may do this, but they come to all of us. And I think a few of you people were able to validate that. But uh, don't ever believe that any of your loved ones that have passed overcome from anger or desire to harm you or any of that because they only come about love. And if you can resolve those doubts and those fears that you've been taught to have, 
then you'll be preparing yourself to hear whatever messages your loved ones want to send you. And uh, really, thank you for sharing this journey with me. And I always want everybody to keep in mind that courage lies in the base of the heart and that nothing can ever separate you, with you from love, including death.